According to a new study, approximately one in four dogs will unfortunately develop a tumor at some point in their lifetime. And so to talk more about this and the first of its kind National Canine Cancer Registry that really offers a ray of hope to dog lovers everywhere, we get to welcome to the show Dr. Sue Ettinger, veterinary cancer specialist, alongside Take Chart Scientific Advisory Board member, Lisa Conte. Ladies, thank you again for being with us today. I trust you're both doing well. Yes, thank you so much for having us. We're doing great, thank you. So let's jump right in, of course. Dr. Edinger, I, I just touched on that study right there. One in four dogs. I mean, that's just so sad. I know I've dealt with it personally with my loved Labrador. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about why addressing this in a registry is so important from your point of view. Yeah, so we just we don't have this information in the United States. And so recently there was a Gallup poll. It was about, they surveyed about 6,000 people and 67% of them had dogs. And what we really need is good incidence and prevalence information. And one of the things that came out of the Gallup poll is that 3.4% of dogs were diagnosed with cancer. And that prevalence is lower than it is in people. But the incidence, the newly diagnosed cancer cases in dogs was 2.8%. And what's scary is that is five times what we're seeing in people for the newly diagnosed cancer cases. And there's so much information we need to unpack about why we're seeing so much cancer in dogs. It's an epidemic. It's the number one reason that dogs will die. And again, we just need more information. I'm so glad we're talking about this. And I had mentioned already, Lisa, when I was introducing you, the Take Charge Registry. Now, CHARGE is actually an acronym. So explain what this is all about for a second. Sure, the acronym is Canine Cancer Health Exchange and Registry. I might have said that backwards, Registry and Exchange. And what this is all about is information. It's data, it's facts, so that we can be empowered to have the best assessment of risk in our dogs who are suffering from cancer and the best opportunity to provide early diagnosis. What are the prevention options that we can have, the best treatment options, and overall the care and the comfort that we can provide to our dogs since they provide so much care and comfort to us. And another great thing about a registry is a canine cancer diagnosis is a scary event, it's a siloed event. And a registry harnesses the power of the community and the shared experience of the community so that that can give us the opportunity to take charge of our dog's health. Well, I like the Lisa referring to it as a, a shared community like you were just talking about. And with that being said, Dr. Edinger, what are the benefits that you see that could come out of something like these, like shared experiences and maybe even risk factors and things as we continue to move forward? Yeah, so, I mean, we can understand the risk factors and not just across the U.S., by state by state. So you can go online, you'll be able to, at, once we have all the states collected, you'll be able to look at your state, you look at your dog's breed. We're starting to collect information about breed, age of diagnosis, their gender, you know, what tumors they have. So not just cancer in general, like some of the data that I just mentioned, but also the different specific cancers that we see, whether it's lymphoma or hermangiosarcoma or bone cancer. And again, just really start to unpack all these different cancers and really then we can understand them we can early diagnosis better treatment as lisa was saying you know and as we started saying at the beginning this is great information for dog lovers out there with the statistics of one in four will develop a tumor so lisa i want to give you the last word what can we do to learn more about this registry and really make sure that it does make an impact in our dogs okay so TakeChargeRegistry.com is the place to go for dog owners and for veterinarians, vet clinics to upload. Again, it's free. It's anonymous to upload information on the health records of these dogs that are experiencing cancer. This is the first of its kind in the United States. They exist all over Europe. This is a long-term commitment. And there's also a commitment for an index. So we'll be able to track over time with this registry, with the information, are we able to do better in the treatment, the outcomes of our animals, and just our whole family experience and understanding what the options are and what the, and what the treatments are. Uh, well, ladies, I'm so glad you were able to share this message with us today. I hope that both of you take care. And as always, we're sharing the website on the bottom of the screen where you can go for more information as well. Take care, okay? Thank take care, you. take charge, thank you.